water with salt. When you are in pain, you can expand your senses. A young man sought an old Zen master and talked about his life's challenges and pains. The old master listened carefully to the young man and gave him a handful of salt. The young man was perplexed. The young man wondered if this mystical salt might take away all of his pain and suffering. The master then instructed the young man to put a handful of salt in a glass of water and drink it. The young man did as the master said. How does it taste? asked the master curiously. Disgusting, not good at all, said the young man as he spat the salty water. The master chuckled at the young man's reaction. He then asked the young man to keep the same salt in the lake nearby. The two walked to the nearby lake, and the young man swirled salt into the lake. Now drink the water from the lake, instructed the master. The young man drank the water from the lake without any problem. How does it feel? asked the master. The young man was thirsty and thoroughly enjoyed the cool water of the lake. It is perfect. I can't taste any salt, the young man replied. The master then sat down next to the troubled young man, took his hands, and said. The pain in life is like pure salt. It remains the same, but the amount we taste or suffer depends on the container we put it in. Moral of the story. So, when you are in pain, you can expand your senses. Make your heart bigger with compassion and empathy. Stop being glass and try being like a lake. Then the troubles in your life will not cause you much suffering. When you are confronted with a problem, you see only the problem and ruminate over it endlessly, which only makes the situation more tragic. Think of previous instances when things were better. Consider all the blessings that the Creator has bestowed upon you that you have never considered. Never compare yourself negatively with others. You are a unique person, and if you have the faith, the Creator will provide what you need. When you have a pain in your life, put it in front of the Creator, then it will surely lessen. Do not put it in front of yourself, as you cannot see beyond it.